Hello guys, we are going to we are going to the series of uh, lectures on pharyngeal arches. So today we will talk about uh, the second pharyngeal arch. Okay. So the second pharyngeal also called hyoid arch. Okay. Hyoid arch. Later, later I will tell you why it is called hyoid arch. Okay. So remember this point for MCQs. Okay. Second pharyngeal arch is also called hyoid arch. Many 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 times they ask this. That hyoid arch is also called First pharyngeal arch, second pharyngeal arch, third pharyngeal arch. Ah, then we ask you that second pharyngeal arch is also called okay. So remember this point for MCQ. Second pharyngeal arch is also called hyoid arch. Okay. Now the nerve, the nerve for the second pharyngeal arch is facial nerve. Facial nerve, which is cranial nerve number seven. Okay. Now the cartilage of this is called Richard's cartilage. Okay. Richard's cartilage, and for the first pharyngeal arch, that was Michael's cartilage. Okay. Now for the second pharyngeal arch, the cartilage is Richard's cartilage. Okay. Now we are talking about the derivatives. The derivatives of second pharyngeal arch, okay? Stapes bone of the ear, okay? Malleus and incus bone was the derivatives of first pharyngeal arch and stapes bone is going to be the derivatives of second pharyngeal arch. And stapes bone is the smallest bone in the body, okay? Now I know in styloid process, stylohyoid ligament, lesser carnoia or horn, carnoia means horn, lesser horn of the hyoid bone and upper half of the body of hyoid bone. Because Second pharyngeal arch is going to give you the uh, lesser carnea or uh, lesser horn of the hyoid bone or uh, upper half of the body of the hyoid bone. That's why this. That's why we can also call the second pharyngeal arch hyoid arch, okay? Because of the derivatives of this, that's why we can also call it hyoid arch. So now the aortic aortic arch for the second pharyngeal arch is second aortic arch, second aortic arch, which is going to pump staphylococcal artery and artery of the hyoid bone because it is going to pump staphylococcal bone. Like you can see here, step is one up the here, so the artery will be staphylococcal artery for the second aortic arch, okay? And because it's going to form the hyoid bone, upper half of the hyoid bone, and uh, lesser horn of the hyoid bone, so we can say artery of the hyoid bone. So okay, now here is also a clearing MCQ. The second the derivatives are second pharyngeal, the second aortic arch. So that is staphylococcal artery and artery of the hyoid bone, okay? Now muscles. Muscle for the second pharyngeal arch, okay? So occipitofrontalis muscle, this is okay, this muscle and this muscle from here to here. This is called occipitofrontalis muscle, okay? And frontalis muscle is the only muscle in the body which don't have bony attachment, okay? Later on, if we have time to we'll explain it, okay? So occipitofrontalis muscle, okay? This occipitofrontalis muscles, muscle of the patient expression, all the muscles, zygomatic muscle may, okay, ocular, ocular muscles. Etc. All these facial muscles because this is a very long topic. So you can see in your book, okay, what are the muscles of facial expression. So occipitofrontalis muscles, muscle of facial expression, and staphylococcus muscle, stylohyoid muscles, and digestive muscle posterior belly. And the actually belly means the fleshy part. Fleshy part of muscle is actually simply called belly. Okay. Now the digestive muscle, the posterior belly of digestive muscle is going to be derived from second pharyngeal arch. The interior belly of digestive muscle is going to be derived from first pharyngeal arch. Okay. Remember this point. Okay. So occipitofrontalis muscle, muscle of facial expression, staphylococcus muscle, stylohyoid muscles, and digestive muscle. Posterior belly of digestive muscle. Now here you can see the diagram. Okay, this is stapes bone, which is the smallest bone in the body, which is present in the ear. Malleus and incus was the derivatives of first pharyngeal arch. Stapes is going to be the derivative of second pharyngeal arch. This is thyroid process, and this is you can see hyoid bone. This is upper half of the body of the hyoid bone, and this is the lesser horn of the or lesser carnoia or lesser horn of the hyoid bone. This is the greater horn, and this is the lower half. But actually, the upper half of the body of hyoid bone and lesser horn of the hyoid bone is going to be derived from second pharyngeal arch. Now, this this ligament which is going to be attached with the staphylococcal process, and it's going to be attached with the lesser horn of the hyoid bone. This is what we call stylohyoid ligament. This is styloid process and this is hyoid bone, so that's why this ligament is called stylohyoid ligament. Okay, so remember this this point. Second pharyngeal arch is not difficult. Hope you can remember it. Enjoy your time. Bye bye.